Order! Order! The eyes to the right, 163. The nose to the left, 300. Thank you. Order. The eyes to the right, 163. The nose to the left, 300. So the nose have it. The nose have it. Unlock. A point of point of order, Mr. Grady. Order, order. Point of order, Mr. Grady. Madam Deputy Speaker, I think we should mark this moment. This is the busiest the English Parliament has been since 1707. Yeah. I've never seen so many people turn out to be so interested in taking part. I'm interested in the numbers that have just been read out, Madam uh, Deputy Speaker, because 163 for the eyes seems very low to me. I counted, uh, just by my own head count, quite a significant number more than that. In fact, by my calculations, there were at least 46 members from Scotland, uh-huh. Wales and Northern Ireland uh-huh. who were in the lobby just now. Can you tell me whether the number that's been read out in the House accurately records the number of members of Parliament that wish to express their view on the amendment that's just been divided upon? I, uh, I'm grateful to the honourable gentleman for putting his concerns in such an articulate fashion, and I note the words he uses. I can confirm to him that although his count of the number of members who wish to express their view might well be correct. But the numbers which I have announced to the House and upon which I will rely from the Chair is the number of members who have a right to vote on this particular. And that, that, as the Honourable Gentleman knows, under the procedures set out in Standing Order 83W, with which he, if not the rest of the House, must of course be familiar members members who do not represent constituencies geographically situated in England do not have a right to vote in these particular divisions point of order mr blackford thank you madam deputy speaker perhaps if you could enlighten me is this indeed the first time that members from scotland have had their votes discounted in this place. And what conclusion should we draw, Madam Deputy Speaker, when an item such as this bill is going to have spending consequences for Scotland, yet Scottish MPs are locked out of this place? Can we not draw our own conclusion that this is indeed the English Parliament? And the answer to the people of Scotland is very clear. If you want your votes counted, then we'd better become an independent parliament. No, the honourable the honourable gentleman, I'm afraid, does not quite does not quite explain the situation as it really is. You see, this Parliament as the Parliament of the United Kingdom passed certain passed certain passed certain rules some time ago, and it is not not correct to say that members from Scottish constituencies are locked out. Far from it. Members from Scottish constituencies and constituencies in every part of the United Kingdom have not been locked out. They have been uh, allowed to to participate in the debate, but not to vote in it. And members from Northern Ireland constituencies and from Welsh constituencies are similarly categorised for these particular divisions. Point